As you can see over here, this is the question paper of 2022, and uh, this is from the General Studies paper, IES, I, uh, IES's paper, General Studies. And for today's class, we are focusing on question number 3E. Yes, we are focusing on question number 3E, and uh, as I have been explaining the other questions in the previous classes, I have already told you all that you need to focus writing your answers within 200 words and uh, yes so here i'm not going to actually give you the entire answer rather i will be mentioning certain points that you can just incorporate in these kind of questions what uh, you can write and how you can write for 200 uh, word uh, limit so you see, your question says, explain the concept of venture capital. Of course, you're going to introduce, uh, provide an introduction to what is venture capital, what is it all about. Okay, then you need to discuss the reasons for venture capitalists favoring software startups compared to the MSME startups. Okay, for the third question, that is for the second part of the question, First, what you need to do is you need to talk about venture capitalists. You cannot just go into the reasons first. First, you need to talk about the venture capitalists. Then you need to talk, you need to talk about the MSME startups. Okay, a little bit about these. And then why people are focusing more on software startups than the MSME startups. Then you are going to give the reasons. Okay, so... This is how you're going to start your answer. This is how you're going to incorporate your answer like you're going to write your answer. Now let's get to see what points you can include for this question. Let's read the question once again. Explain the concept of venture capital. Discuss the reasons for venture capitalists favoring software startups compared to MSME startups. All right. Presenting the answer in front of you, not rather the answer, it's just uh, certain points. We are discussing question number 3E from the 2022 question paper, okay? Now, what is venture capital? Venture capital, in short form, you see, we see it's called, it's a form of private equity and a type of financing that investors provide to startup companies and small businesses. It, uh, the, the investors provide this to startup companies as well as to all the small businesses that are believed to have long-term growth potential. So a person or any kind of investor will invest in those kind of companies that will uh, like promise them a higher income and a long-term growth. Venture capital generally comes from well-off investors, from investment banks and any other financial institutions, okay? Venture capital funds are looking for investments that can generate substantial returns on invested capital in a relatively short period of time. So venture capitalists or venture capital are basically like uh, invested with a thought that it will give double, triple in return. Okay. Tech startups, like we're talking about the software companies, tech startups have unique characteristics that make them a good match for the venture capitalists. Broadly speaking, tech startups often require small amounts of capital. So this is very important that uh, tech startups actually require very small amounts of capital to start. That is why more investors are interested in this than the MSMEs. These are relatively capital uh, efficient to scale and can grow quickly by leveraging the technology and can develop barriers to entry for competitors that allow for the building of a valuable enterprise. So, even uh, like uh, it gives good competition to the other people, to the other uh, tech startups also. That is why it is like uh, fruitful to invest in, in the tech startups than on the MSMEs. With a contribution of 29% of the GDP and more than 50% of the exports, the MSME sector is the key engine of economic growth and backbone of the Indian economy. The MSME sector 
which hitherto is grappling with various issues. Now, yes, here, uh, see, you, uh, they have been talk uh, they are talking about the importance of the MSME sector. Now, we cannot directly talk about why investors are not investing in the MSE, MSMEs. Directly, we cannot talk about that. What I told you, you need to answer um, first by defining the terms that are given. That will uh, provide, that will just leave a very good impact on the person who is reading your answer. Because you are introducing everything mentioned in the question. Little bit introduction is very good. Uh, so here you see, I have given the importance of the MSME sector, how it is forming the key engine of economic growth and forming a backbone of the Indian economy. Then I'm talking about why it is lagging behind. Why it is lagging behind. The MSME sector, which hitherto is, uh, hither, hitherto is grappling with various issues, such as inadequate finances, then regulatory bottlenecks, then infrastructural deficiency, and outdated technology has survived, has survived the demonetization and GST implementation and is now gearing up to tide over the COVID-19 crisis. The pandemic is a watershed moment for the MSME sector and has made it imperative for the MSME businesses to digitally reorient their places. Uh, their workplaces, reimagine their business practices and identify the right trajectory for growth, especially during the lockdowns. So it is now coping up, we can say. First it was lagging behind due to certain issues. Now it is coping up, we can say, uh, especially after getting affected during the lockdown period. It is uh, taking out certain practices, business practices that you can follow and cope up with the other types of industries. Technological upgradation was on the to-do list for most MSMEs, but the COVID-19 pandemic it made it a top priority item for virtually every MSME. In this critical scenario, the MSMEs would have to quickly transform to an online business model. So they need to transform themselves, otherwise their business will go down. Okay, transform. Yes, they need to transform. Uh, to an online business model. So they need to go online. They need to focus more on online transformation and embrace the digital technology in key areas such as managing the inventory, then um, for undertaking the sales and marketing, then for maintaining the accounts, for, for pushing the business growth with optimal costs. Yeah, so those are the points that you can include in your answer, you can incorporate in your answer and yes, you can definitely uh, write, uh, write these in detail. So yes, that uh, was it. But that was all about today's class and that was all about the question that we were discussing. So if you have any kind of queries, you can post down your queries below in the comment box. And if you want to join our classes for any kind of entrance exam preparation or if you want to do any kind of competitive exam, preparation then you can definitely join our classes through the contact details or through the website link which is given in the description box that's it for today's class we are meeting once again in our next classes